Well, I'm pissed because I recorded this for over 20 minutes and it was recording. So I get to do it again. <laughs> Yay. I'm really lazy and I'm not wearing a sorry sweatshirt to talk to you about Rush, so yeah. How many special people change? How many lives are living strange? Where we in while we would get high? Slowly walk. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly. If you're new here, um, subscribe down below, like this video, and comment if you want to. Today I'm talking about rush advice, so that's cool. <laughs> Kidding. Um, I'm basically just gonna go through how to act, what to wear, um, myths about Rush and kind of like my experience and also online Rush this year. Okay, since I filmed this <laughs> already without recording it, I know what I want to talk about. So, um, basically, and I have notes on my phone, so that's what I'll be looking at. My experience. I rushed at a Pac-12 school, the University of Oregon. My freshman year, which was in 2018, it was a four to five day process and I obviously loved it so ended up in a sorority, it was really cool. Right now I am not a member of a sorority, I am an alumna of a sorority, I am not graduated, no, still in college. I just transferred for some unforeseen circumstances, but we don't have a chapter here, I'm trying to start one, so yeah. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun during rush, though it was a bit stressful and rainy. <laughs> and cold. <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun and I recommend it to anyone who wants to rush. So yeah. That was a lot shorter version of what I usually just said. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> um, as well as my experience, I rushed in October because University of Oregon rushes in October versus the beginning of school year. It's a bit different so these some of these tips might be for like colder rushing versus like August rush. So let's get started. Okay. We're going to start with what to wear. Personally, okay, with my five day rush experience at the University of Oregon, which I'm going to keep name dropping for some reason, I guess. It was fun and obviously wearing stuff. Obviously, I wore stuff for colder weather, prefacing that right now. So, some of these suggestions on what to wear, obviously alter them to the season you're wearing. The first day, you are given a t-shirt to wear. I have my t-shirt somewhere over there, don't really want to go digging for it. Get a t-shirt, you have to wear a t-shirt, and you can wear anything on the bottom. Um, jeans, shorts, skirts. No leggings, no sweats, don't do that. That's just very unprofessional. Wear like nice looking jeans as well. No rips, don't do rips. A nice skirt that covers your butt and skirts up and shorts that cover your butt. You know, like nice looking, you know, like look good. Um, definitely have your hair done. Don't put it in a big messy bun. Usually girls like to leave their hair down, but if it's hot, like during the summer time rushing, obviously put your hair up if you want to. Like make it look neat and makeup, obviously, do your makeup, just do you, because that is the most beneficial thing I think you can do is being yourself and doing your own makeup. So that's usually the first and second day, just like meeting all houses. Um, for me, we did 12 houses in one day. <laughs> that's all our houses, so um, you can spread them out or you can put them together, it depends. Obviously that is usually your first and, or first day and second day. My second day, was sisterhood day and you just have to look a little it's every day you get a little more elevated and look so the second day i wore a skirt a cute blouse some tights because it was cold outside some boots it was a good look you just gotta look a little more professional that day um the next day was house tours or philanthropy day it was one of those i think it was philanthropy day because house tours is the next day so for feel around i wore a dress a sundress kind of like a little more than a sundress kind of look and I wore some heels yeah and they were kind of like block heels like those sandal oh insert a photo it's easier to explain those block heels they were cute um had my hair down I had my hair usually curled every day so didn't really change <laughs> just curled it same ways either 
added something or I didn't. And my makeup was usually just my normal makeup. The next day it was house tours. For house tours, I I think I wore a skirt. Maybe. I think I wore a skirt. I think I have Philo and house tours switch. I wore a skirt for house tours. Okay, so it's house tours and Philo. There we go. I wore a skirt. It's kind of like the day before. Skirt, nice top, whatever. Um, last day was preference day. I wore a red dress with kind of like a collar. That's the word, collar. Some cap sleeves. It was like a longer dress. I had um, some nude tights underneath it. Fun fact, they are my skating tights because I did not have a pair of nude tights. <laughs> and I wore some new heels. Obviously, press night is the night you want to look the very best. And it's kind of like graduation. Like if you're going to a graduation or graduating or like a really, really, really fancy dinner. Like that kind of look. So I wear that. I'll probably insert pictures of every day's outfits if I can find them around me while I'm talking. So, yeah. Um, and then bidet, you obviously get a shirt. You wear that. Wear some comfy jeans. You can wear leggings that day. You literally, anything can be on the bottom that day. I recommend something you can move around in because you guys do a lot of fun stuff. So definitely wear easy accessible things to walk around and run home in because if you're wearing a skirt and you're running home it's not gonna be fun <laughs> okay the next thing i'm gonna go over is um how to act because definitely this is something we need to talk about <laughs> um how to act during rush you need to be a professional and mature individual while talking to people. Obviously, if you're shy, I understand. Um, I'm a very shy person and I don't like to talk to people at all who I don't know. I have pretty bad social anxiety. So talking about myself was hard, you know? You just, it's hard. Obviously, I recommend if you wanna like practice with a parent or friend before you do it, do it. Not hard, talking about yourself. It's just a lot to work up to sometimes. <laughs> But if you like to talk about yourself a lot, obviously you're gonna do just fine. <laughs> um, definitely um, don't talk about booze, boys, drinking, frats. How they pick people, don't do not do things like that. That's immature. Girls don't, are not allowed to answer that. They will receive fines. We receive fines when you try and talk to us and we answer about those things. So don't, just don't do it. Big tip, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> God, no. I've heard girls do that all the time. Don't talk about your houses, your experiences, or um, how you felt about people while you're with your rush group or outside a house or in a dorm room. Not a dorm room, like a dorm hall. Talk about it in your room if you want to. It's, um, it's immature. It's frankly just I don't care to know about your opinions and you can kind of make other people feel really bad if you're like I don't like this chapter and they really really like that chapter I'm like don't don't ruin their parade guys like just keep your opinion to yourself because obviously that's the best thing to do just don't talk about things until maybe like if you want to talk about it after rush like go for it like I like after the rush week but like don't talk about chapters in front of their houses or inside a different house or whatever because I've had that experience where people have talked outside a different house about a different chapter and I'm like dude I don't care and that's really like immature to do you know so don't do that please that's a really good way to uh also that's kind of I think it's a rule mostly like if you talk about you can get dropped from rush so don't don't do it it's stupid so don't waste your rushing experience on talking about other people. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of sounded rude. Just, just don't do it. Um, another way to act is just to trust the process. Honestly, it's one of the most stressful weeks of your life. Probably be that week. Um, trust the process. If you don't get into your top house, like, it is totally fine to not get into your top house. Did I get into my top house? No, but did I find a house that was, like, way better and that I fell in love with? Yeah. Trust the process, and just let it happen. And just, you will find the house for you. And if you don't find the house for you and you got all the way through rush, it's okay, you can try it in next year, I promise you. I think that covers like how to act mostly. Yeah, I think that's a good on how to act. Um, 
gonna go over some myths behind Rush and what you should not do if someone tells you these things. Um, first things first, Greek rank sucks. Do not trust Greek rank if, oh god, the amount of times Greek rank has been brought up. Just don't trust Greek rank. It's not a real thing. It's a really crappy website. I'm not like trying to shit on Greek rank, but like don't, don't look it up before you go to houses or stuff or before rush. It's a lot of either like frat boys or people who are not in that chapter or just kind of like people who don't like Greek life, Greek life, who talk about just, who just hate on other chapters. It's never accurate and it's kind of stupid. So just, it's not a holy grail. It's not something that you're going to love and it's not like reliable. So don't, don't look at Greek rank. Greek rank is not reliable. Just don't, just don't do it. It will ruin your rush experience. I mean it. Um, another myth about rush is that it is easy breezy fast and fun on time. No. You'll be stressed. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. You guys are gonna be stressed. It's obviously pretty grueling. I mean obviously this year probably gonna be a little bit different but um usually it's pretty grueling having to do something for a week straight and kind of have emotions with it. Uh, I promise you at the end you'll be okay. I recommend de-stressing every night because it is hard to carry those thoughts with you all day and definitely it's not gonna hit everybody like that but like if you're someone who has like kind of low self-confidence or something i have low self-confidence so i can talk about those like it, it's gonna hurt to see like if you get to go somewhere the next day that you loved or if you don't so definitely like just take it it's gonna be stressful and you're gonna be sad probably a little bit but um obviously every day brings a new day and a new experience so once you see it just be like you know what they didn't like me sucks i'm a really cool person and go to the houses that like you because obviously you're just gonna you'll find your own i promise um another one. <laughs> thinking of some of these off the top of my head um that pref night is weird it might seem weird it's not weird it's not culty i promise you it's just a bunch of girls showing you a bunch of girls a bunch of people who identify as women, there we go, that's a little more inclusive, who um, just kind of want to show you a part of their ritual. And it might it might seem a little weird, but I promise you it's not. It's just a lot of like showing you how things might happen and it's supposed to be a really, really fun night. So definitely have fun. It's fun, I promise. It's not weird. I promise you it's not weird. Prep night is not weird. It's supposed to be you. Have fun, express yourself to the truest extent. Um, another myth is that you can ask girls about um, kind of like how they choose who they want. That's a myth. Like no, they can't tell you and nor do we get to choose you in a sense. Um, it's based off a ranking system which is weird and it's not like a weird rank. It's, it's a really complicated process. It's not like a ranking system. It, it's kind of like ma matching you to where you're gonna be. And it's based off a lot of math and a lot of other things that I still don't know how people do. It's very math involved, like very equationly equation math involved. There's a lot of stuff that goes, it's not just like a simple system, like I hate you and like, you, like no, like different than that, I promise you. Um, another myth is that you have to be skinny white and blonde to rush. No, you can rush whatever race, whatever identity, whatever hair color, skin color, like what you can rush no matter what, as long as you're like not a guy, like not like a male identifying person, you can rush for a sorority. So yeah, just not, people don't care. <laughs> They're just gonna see you for you and that's all they want. And if some houses are really crappy and non-inclusive well sucks for them because they miss out on a really good person I'm just gonna say you right now people are gonna like be mean to you because of what you wear and that's obviously not the house for you i think those cover all the myths behind rush that are pretty common so i'm gonna move on to kind of tips and tricks before i go on to rush online um tips and tricks Bring extra shoes to wear. You do not want to walk around in heels across campus. 
at night, in the early morning, or in general, it hurts. <laughs> Believe me, I did it for one day and I was like, nope, gotta bring it. So bring like some flats or some running shoes. Cause sometimes you'll have parties back to back and they will literally be like on the same side of the Greek row slash area that you'll be in. So definitely bring some running shoes if you're gonna have to run parties back to back because it's a running process, it's not a walking process. Um, another thing, bring like a little emergency kit and in that emergency kit add like pads and tampons, um, some deodorant, lipstick, a powder, usually like a compact, it's really nice. And like a personal fan, like a little mini fan, like those ones that children have. Um, definitely worth it. Oh, maybe also have some money if you're gonna have to be down there for a while. Just so you can like eat if you need to. Yeah, definitely have those things. I recommend like the little emergency kit. It saved my life during rush. I promise you. Um, another thing is if it's cold outside, bring a coat. If it's raining, bring a coat. If it's windy, bring a jacket or something. Um, bring something that's not like super important to you. Just in case, you know, it gets lost. Sorry, my camera cut out and that was... Here we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, again, bring coat, but something that's not like super expensive or anything because if it ends up getting stolen, hopefully it won't. That's, you know, gonna suck. Another tip I have, um, definitely is to, again, trust the process for yourself. It's gonna help you in the long run and definitely de-stress you a lot instead of worrying about getting into your top house or not. Um, also, don't forget to de-stress after every day. Like de-stress, read a book, take a shower, chill with your roommates, eat food because you don't want that like being on your mind going to sleep because I think it's definitely better to just de-stress and the next day is gonna come. I think that's all I have for tips. So I'm gonna move on to kind of like rush online. Um, how I'm gonna, how I've been seeing it is that usually the first, I think, three to four days are online, and then pref and bid are gonna be in person. I obviously don't know that. Please check your PHC website to make sure. Um, definitely have zooms in the first few days. I think that's pretty beneficial. You get to be in a really positive, hopefully a positive environment, and somewhere you're very used to if it's your dorm or if it's your home. So I think that's positive. Obviously find a quiet space if you're somewhere pretty loud or if you're over a might ask them to, you know, be quiet and whatnot. Or to kind of like just be like, hey, like I have a, a call to chapter at like three. Can you maybe be out of the room or be really quiet? And they'll probably say sure. And if they don't, obviously just go find a place and screw them. So I think it's gonna be a lot more, you know, beneficial hopefully for you guys to be online and not have to wear like heels and stuff the first couple days. You can just wear sweats and the shirts you have and makeup. It's gonna be a lot more stress relieving. Um, definitely for prep, it's gonna be, I think, a lot more fun being in person and having time to interact with humans, even though you are gonna get a mask and probably six feet apart. I promise you it'll be fun. And so it will be a day and I hope you, you have like all the best and all the luck and I'm sorry that your bid had your bid day and your rush had to co um, coincide with <laughs> Corona but I promise you you will be fine and you'll have a time with your life. Um I think that's really it for this video. I hope you have a great rush and I'm sending you all the love and positive energy and yeah so thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and comment any questions you guys have below because if you have any questions on Rush that I didn't over overdo, <laughs> no, um, cover in this video, definitely ask me because I will be so happy to answer them all. And as always, um, tell me what you want to see more of and I'll see you next time.